You've heard about it, you've seen every influencer there, and you've probably wondered, is it overrated? You guessed it, Bali. Today we're going to paradise with tips about the best places to see, the best food to eat, and the most fun spots to party. Hey, I'm Adrian Solgard, and today we're going to Bali with Sam, a French-born Balinese local who together with his brother and sister are cleaning up hundreds of thousands of pounds of ocean plastic around the island of Bali. Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about Bali, which is an island in Indonesia. Indonesia is a country made up of how many islands? 17,000. 17,000 islands. Sam is French, grew up in France, or born in France, moved to Bali when you were seven. Seven years old. Yeah. Sam's a proper Bali local. <laughs> Let's get some tips about where the best spots are to go. Let's go to Bali. <laughs> Let's do it. What's the most overrated thing about Bali? The most overrated thing about Bali? Kuta. Have you, have you been there? I don't know. So uh, it's not over, I mean, it is overrated because... Uh, I see Hard Rock Cafe, so yes, <laughs> I exactly. understand. People started coming to Bali, you know, for years now, but really in the 70s, people congregated in Kuta because it was so close to the airport. Okay. And as years went on, they like went further up north and north and north. Yeah. Um, and so Kuta was like the first tourism hub. Um, and so it's just like super crowded. It's now like the party, like there's clubs. Yeah. What, what's the most underrated thing about Bali? One thing that not a lot of people know, but I think because of Instagram, more and more people have been going to these places is waterfalls. There's a lot of waterfalls on the island and they're kind of, you know, hidden. And unless you're like an avid explorer and you're really like getting into like tiny roads and dirt roads and back roads, then you'll find them. Okay. You know, what's really fun is just to take a car with a couple of friends or scooters and just drive around the island and not really have a destination. Yeah. And just, just go because that is probably one of my favorite things to do, is just to get, to get lost and to meet the locals. So this entire area is a national park. Wow. Um, cool. And this right here, this little island, is incredible. Menjana. Menjana, okay. Um, so there's beautiful diving over here. Um, there's, it's not as busy because it's pretty far. Yeah. Um, and that's so that's, that's probably one of the underrated places to go to, like that little, Bay over here is incredibly beautiful. It's a lot of mangroves. Not a lot of people live there. What's like one of the classic Bali things to do? Like one of the must do experiences? There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there's, there's a few staples. Like there's um, obviously three volcanoes on the island. So climbing one of the volcanoes I would say is a must. And that's why going for 10 days, I think is a good amount of time because climbing a volcano will take a day to two days. Um, there's Gunung Agung, which is the biggest volcano on the island. It's 3,103 meters tall. Wow, it's um, so like 10,000 feet. Yeah, it's 10,000 feet. Uh, Gunung Batur is the second biggest one and has a beautiful crater with a lake. So, Amen. Okay, so actually right there when you're, where you're, your cursor, where it says Bali, yeah. that's Gunung Batur right there. Okay, that's good. You see, have you seen oh, that photo? Wow. It's like, you know that it's like the, the postcard photo that yeah. gorgeous um, and so if you get there if you go there then you need to go there at like 6 a.m. because otherwise you have a hundred and fifty buses of Chinese <laughs> tourists um, that are there taking photos and that's the thing with Bali is like if you want to go to these beautiful areas you need to go really early in the morning yeah so right around how, how do you get up there because like from like if you're down in in, in Chengdu, Kuta or Chengdu. Or, yeah that's like that's a yeah, it's, it's a, a few hours, right? It's a few hours. So Bali's not a huge island. Um, there's around, I don't know what the, the latest numbers are. I want to say uh, it's five to six million people living on the island. Um, in terms of its actual distance, you could probably get to the north, like a straight shot up in five hours. Okay. Um, to get to, to that temple, I would say it's around three, from two and a half to three. And then the big one is over here. That's Gurunbetor. Or it might be one, I don't know if it's one of these two. Uh, oh wait, sorry, that's better. That's better, yeah. Um, so that's actually the third volcano with that temple. Okay, um, so this, this is the first one is here? Sorry, the one with the, the temple is right there. Yeah. And I guess that's a, that's the third volcano. Okay. Um, but that's like a very famous photo. That's where it's here and then Agung is here. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so that's the shorter one that a lot of people hike up in like, so they, they start hiking at 11 p.m. midnight. They get to the summit for sunrise at around 5.36. And that's the photo that you know you, you're essentially you, you would like to get. Yeah. That's the goal. What's uh? Is there any like classic Bolognese foods that you need to try if you're visiting? Yeah, I think Indonesian food's really really good. There's my favorite is 
Um, I'm vegetarian now, but my, my favorite is beef rendang, <laughs> um, which is slow cooked beef in coconut milk. Beef rendang, like that? Beef rendang, yeah. Um, and usually you'll have that with rice, or you'll have that with vegetables. Otherwise, you know, the staples or the nasi goreng, which is fried rice. But I think my, if I could recommend one thing, it'd be to go to these little restaurants called, and they're everywhere, so it's not hard to find. Um, nasi, or called padang. They give you a plate with a bowl of rice, and then you pick what you want. Cool. And you just point, and they just like pop it on for exactly. you. Exactly. And cool. then it's like all the best local foods in one restaurant, and they're everywhere. Um, and you'll pay like 25,000 rupee. Nice, and that's like, like a dollar and a half. Wow. Is there any like a fancy restaurant spot that you'd recommend? Yeah, absolutely. So number one best restaurants in Southeast Asia. The chef is French. It's like a very, very nice restaurant. It's beautiful looking dishes and like. But then when you go down to Seminyak, which is you know where most of the best restaurants are, we're even in Changu now more and more. So right around here, you have amazing options of food. You have amazing pizza restaurants. There's just one restaurant that I go to all the time called Pizza Fabrica uh, in Changu. Really good pizza. Cool. Um, and then you can find, you know, it's great because you're in Bali, but you can really find really good Italian food, really good French food, really good American food. Nice. Best cocktail bar. Or like best like cocktail spot. Okay, there's a few. My, my <laughs> one of my favorite ones. You gotta pick one. I know, I gotta pick one. I would say my favorite one that I've gone to the most is this bar called Old Man's. Old Man's? Old Man's. It's in Changu. It's just super fun. Uh, it's really big. Every Wednesday they have a beer pong contest. Old Man's is... Wow, 4,000 reviews. Five stars. Is the place in Indonesia that sells the most amount of bintang. <laughs> <laughs> to give you an idea of it. Yeah. Oh, this looks, this looks good. This is a really fun place. What's um, like a go-to singles bar? It's The Lawn. Okay. Um, which is a little bit more casual. Oh, that's great. Pools. Yeah, exactly. Pool bar, everything. Nice. Okay. Um, and then I would say when you go down, when you go a little bit south to Seminyak, Bali's had a surge in beach clubs. And so one of my favorite places is this beach club bar restaurant called Potato Head. And it's really cool because it's like, this is the outside of it, all with That's window all frames. That's all window frames? That looks um, so cool. And the best part about Potato Head is that they're super sustainable. But, oh, okay, so it's hotel. Uh, and and so he built a hotel after building, and that actually right there is an art installation with flip flops we're playing from beaches. Okay, nice. Um, by this really yeah. talented artist called Lina Klaus. You guys have like collected a lot of flip flops. Yeah, we've collected like one of the. We're actually cleaning mangoes right now. Yeah, thanks to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, right next to it is this other really cool beach bar. It was like the first beach bar in Bali called Coup d'État. Okay. Coup d'État is really cool. I've been to Finns before. Is Finns that... is really cool too. Finns is in Changu, so it's in between Potato Head and Old Man's. Okay, oh here's Kudita. Kudita is really cool. Kudita is actually probably the place that I would say is like the most chill for couples. Okay. Um, it's a little bit more upscale, it's a little bit more expensive, Yeah. but it's really, really nice. And I mean, one thing you know, I think that Bali is extremely known for, it's religion. The biggest Muslim population of any other country. Yeah. And there's 17,000 islands in the country. And Bali is the only island that's Hindu, oh, okay. which makes it extre extremely special, which is why they call it the Island of the Gods. And there's temples everywhere you look. Like every house is required to have a temple. So in my house, I have three temples. Wow. Um, but they're not, you know, big temples. They're just like uh, a, little, a little platform that people go to and pray. Um, and so we have people from the village that come into my house and pray, you know, once in a while. Oh, um, and is that like part of your service to the community that like, you have to open your temple to right. others? So once a year, we have a, a big ceremony in my house where like, we invite the village um, and we pray with them. That's super interesting. Yeah, and we, so we, have, we live by a river, which is really cool. Okay. Um, that's, I think, another reason why we, we started focusing on rivers. Yeah. And so we have a temple for the house, a temple for the river. You know, there's beautiful temples to visit as well. So the Uruwata temple is a temple. Um, that temple that I showed you on the lake is a temple as well. Yeah. So a lot of the staples are usually temples just because they're so beautiful and they put so much effort and time into building these things. Cool. And what makes you an expert about Bali? Well, I wouldn't call myself an expert about Bali, but I think, you know, I grew up there when I was, or I moved there when I was seven and I lived there until I was 15. And my parents are still there, my brother lives there. The work that we do, cleaning rivers, is in Bali. And every year I go back for at least two months. So, since I was 15. Yeah. So I've been going back to Bali since 2004. It's very 
you know, near and dear to my heart. I love the culture. I love everything about it. The environments, the ocean, the beach, the people are incredible. And I would say that, you know, having lived there for now close to 15 years, makes me somewhat of a, <laughs> of a local Balinese. So what's the, the cost of living like if you're gonna co go and stay for a month or something like that? Do you think Bali is a place you'd wanna go for a weekend, a week, a month? What we say is the ideal like time frame to go visit. Okay. So all my friends always ask this question because <laughs> they want to take time off work, and so they always ask me how long should I take off work, and I always say at least ten days. Ten days gives you the perfect amount of time to really do everything, to climb the volcano, to go to the alt, to, you know, to, to the north of Bali to go scuba diving. But no, I'd say ten days is a great amount of time. Um, the cost of living, way cheap. I mean, you can honestly do both. You know, yeah. you can go to the amazing. Italian restaurant and pay, spend just as much as you could here in New York. But if you're living the local way, you can really be spending, you know, five dollars a day for food. Yeah. And it's great food. What's the best way to get around? Most people when they come to Bali will rent a bike or a scooter. As much as and by I, bike you mean motorbike or bicycle? Motorbike, so yeah. like a motorbike, yeah, like yeah. a moped. Yeah. They're super cheap. You can rent one for fifty thousand rupiah a day, which is Three dollars. Paid a lot more than that when I was there. <laughs> <laughs> you got scammed. Yeah. I think I was paying like thirty bucks a day. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> uh, you gotta, you gotta approach it with if you have someone or ask a local person to rent it for you. Okay. And then they'll get you the fifty thousand rupee a day scooter. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, but uh, most people use that. I would say it's very dangerous, and this is really sad. But I went to high school, I went to school there, and all of my friends in high school that drive a scooter have been in accidents. Every single one of them. So it's not an if, it's a when. Exactly. That's what they all say. Yeah. And the reason is not because you could be, it's not because you're a bad driver, it's mainly because other people have no idea how they're driving, and yeah. most of the time it's because it's tourists who have no idea what they're doing. Where, where do you think it's the best sunset spot? Or sorry, the best like Instagram photo Instagram spot. spot. If you're going to Bali and you need the one photo, where do yeah. you go? So if you're looking for rice fields, um, Tegalalan rice fields is in Ubud. That is like the, the, the Instagram rice fields it's beautiful it's like you know those like oh yeah multi-layered rice fields super oh, yeah. beautiful it's gorgeous you know that that little cove beach that i showed you in Nusipinida? i would say yeah. that that's like an instagram hotspot i would say those two are and then the top of mount bator climb the volcano get there for sunrise at 6 a.m and that's a beautiful photo of nice. the, the volcanoes around bali cool should bali be the first spot someone goes it's i, I couldn't recommend it more to anyone who wants to go to bali I would say yes, but as a local, <laughs> I'm trying to say... As a local who hates tourists, don't come. <laughs> um, no, but I would say yes, it's, it's a beautiful spot and I, I think it's amazing. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for joining us on this little trip of Bali. I uh, hope that you enjoyed the tips that Sam gave us. Uh, any other questions about your next destination, comment below. Let us know where you want to go. Sam, thank you so much for the great work you're doing thank cleaning you. up the rivers of Bali and what that does for all the ocean plastic in the world. Thanks, man. So thank you, glad we can support and hope we can share some content with that. I'll see you in Bali. Yeah.